going on everyone i got a brand new movie review for you guys today an early one in fact and that is for spider-man into the spider-verse this was a film that when it was announced i had the biggest eye roll out of everyone when i heard they're making another iteration of spider-man and it's gonna be animated this time really here it's miles morales and then it kind of kicked up a little notch i'm like but i would rather see him as live action i still want to see him in live action don't get me wrong but then I was like, oh, okay, we're just going to get him an animated film. That, that could be cool. That could work. Then you hear Fear Lord and Chris Miller are going to be producing it, and Phil Lord will be writing the story for this. That's a little bit cool. New directors. I'm all good with this. Let's see how this works. Trailer drops. Got me on board. Totally into it. The animation looked spectacular. And then some early reviews come out, and the hype kind of gets a little bit higher. And as I was going into this film, I was like, I, I know I'm going to really like this film. I, I know it's going to be good. But I'm here to say that Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse does quite a few things. And I'll go as far as to say this is the best animated film of the year, if not one of the best animated films since Toy Story 3, in my opinion. I think this is one of the best comic book films ever. I think it's one of the best films of this year, personally for me. I'm not ready to say it's the best Spider-Man film, but I, it might be. Um, I need to see the film again, but... I loved Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I think this, again, is one of the best films of this year. It's definitely my top three favorite films of this year. I loved every single thing about this film, and I haven't been this giddy about a film in a very, very long time. In a so long time. I don't even remember the last time I was like this giddy where I kept smiling and I kept cussing and saying, oh my God. Oh, I, I don't remember the last time I was like that. I This film is spectacular. It's ultimate. It's fantastic. It's amazing. And it's really everything you want it to be and more. I, I, again, exceeded my expectations. And especially Spider-Man being a character that I love. I really liked every Spider-Man film. But, I mean, I'll take anything Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man and the lore and the characters and all the different iterations as well. And that's why I was so impressing that they're going to tackle the Spider-Verse. And they tackle it in the most non-confusing way. I don't want to give away how they do it. But there's a gimmick that they do to explain explain each and every one of these characters and it works so well. The Shameek Moore playing Miles Morales. He was an excellent voice cast to play Miles, but Miles' story is so well crafted and handly knitted and spider webbed out to bring about this whole entire mythology and this whole entire world, but bring it into perfectly this it has film has a lot of easter eggs to it it's very self-indulging it knows what kind of film it is there's no there's tons of spider-man films and it tackles that and not the annoying bonk on the head we know what you're doing but in a very humorous and creative way that makes you laugh i i've not laughed i've not smiled this much in a film in a very long time uh, by the end credit scene which i have to say one of my favorite end credit scenes ever i i i was blown away i i was sitting there chuckling up chucking a I was dying. You got to stay all the way to, through the end of the credits, but they did with all the Easter eggs in here and all the little background details. You got to look everywhere in this film. I'm sure there's stuff I missed, but my eyes were everywhere looking for every single thing that I can glimpse into this world and be more creatively and induced within this world. I was seduced within this movie with all the greatly crafted designs and the creative choices that they made within the animation department with again i love the animation it feels like it was ripped right out of the comic books for some distinct but creative choices that i think made the film work even more but in surprising ways. And it doesn't feel confusing when it's trying to explain all the Spider-Verse stuff. It feels very down to earth and it feels, oh yeah, I believe in that. And it just works with every single thing that could have come out as, oh, that that's kind of, that's a kind of a coincidence. Don't you think? No, it, it doesn't feel that way. It, it just works so well. This film works so well. I know I'm very much rambling and I'm trying to, I'm trying to review this film, but I am so ecstatic by this movie. Like absolutely loved this movie. The biggest parts about this film was when Jake Johnson was announced to play Peter Parker, I was a little bit iffy on that. Jake Johnson works. He's a great Peter Parker. Haley Seinfeld as Gwen Stacy is a great Gwen Stacy. But two biggest surprise characters in here for me, though, were Spider-Man Noir, voiced by Nicolas Cage, and of course, John Mulaney playing Spider-Ham. Spider-Ham could have gotten old, but he didn't. These two characters were there for the comedic relief, because this film is emotional. It actually got me there. I There's some scenes in here where I was like, 
man, that's that's some heartbreaking stuff, some emotional stuff. Again, brings you in because you love Miles' character and his world and his family so much, and you care about what is going on in his life. And But going to these two characters, they really balance the comedic relief. And I think one of my biggest nitpicks, one of my biggest cons of this film is I wanted more of them. And maybe it's just because they use them the right amount. I wanted more of this film. I want more into this world. I want to dive right back into it. And man, I just loved everything about Spider-Man and the Spider-Verse. This is, again, definitely one of my favorite films of this year. One of the best animated films in years. One of the best comic book films of all time. And again, I know I just came out of this film. I'm, I, I'm coming out of it with a lot of hype. But... I just feel it in my gut. I feel it in my heart. And I feel so passionate about Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Fantastic animation. Great characters in here. I didn't even talk about Penny Parker. Anime style Spider-Man. Which was a big surprise. I didn't think I was going to like her character. And she actually was a big surprise for me. I loved what they did with her. But it goes to all the characters in here. You fall in love with them. You fall in love with this world. You fall in love with the animation choices. And that, again, it feels like you're reading a comic book. It's just ripped right out. And you're watching it happen before your eyes. So many many subtle easter eggs that work so many things that are explored and so many things that are pushed to limits that you want to be explored into the next film spider-man to the spider-verse is everything that you wanted this film to be in more it's not that eye sore eye roll that you thought it was going to be when it was announced it is again amazing it's ultimate, it's fantastic, and superior. Do not miss this film in the theaters. Grab your family, take them to the theaters, and enjoy this film to your heart's content. Spider-Man fans, you are in for a delight, and comic book fans, you are in for something special here. So with all that said, I'm going to give Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse an A+. My top 10 this year is going to be insanely hard to make, but I do know for one thing, in fact, that Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse will be in my top three of the year. This film was great. I cannot wait to hear you guys' thoughts on this. Please comment down below and tell me what Spider-Man you are looking forward to seeing this film and what Spider-Man you wish they would have put into this film. Let's talk about it down below in the comments, guys. Do look out for more videos on this film. I'm going to be doing some collaborations with 3C Films, talking about the Easter eggs and whatnot over on his channel, so go check that out when it does debut in a couple of weeks. Plus, you guys also do not want to miss anything else spider-man related i'm thinking about doing a ranking as well and maybe a spoiler talk I, I don't know there's so much to digest into this film and i can't wait to see it again also guys if you guys are new here please consider hitting that like and subscribe plus checking out sandwich on films also down below because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens you can also check out some movie news and even some movie reviews but guys of course until next time stay classy